Okay, first things first. Obviously, we're talking about the endings of the game. We're talking about major choices that you make. So there's going to be spoilers in this video. If you don't want to ruin any part of that aspect of the game for yourself, I suggest stopping now. The next thing I would like to recommend is that you save the game here at this point. After meeting with Hanaka, which as the game tells you is the point of no return, you're going to pass out, you're going to get taken to Victor's, and then Misty is going to take you up on the roof. And then before you sit down, save the game. This is going to be a point where you still have the most options available to you. So I'm going to try not to spoil too much of the ending for you. But I'm just going to tell you that the main objective is to get you into Osaka Towers and get the chip out of your head and get Johnny out of your head so that you can live. And you're going to have three options to do that. You can go with Hanaka and her plan. You can go with Johnny Silverhand and his plan. Or you can go with the friend or relationship that you have made while playing the game. For me, in this playthrough, it was Pan Am Palmer, but it could very possibly be someone else. It could be River, the former police officer, it might be Judy, but I'm guessing the general concept will be the same. So I'll start with the ending and the choice that seems to be the worst, and in my opinion is the worst. That's choosing to be with Hanaka, going with her plan, and using her to get into the tower and get the chip out of your head. It was the least fun invasion of Hanaka Tower, in my opinion. But more importantly than that, the ending is fairly miserable and many of your friends and acquaintances that you've met in your time in Night City are very unhappy with you. Some will even stop talking to you. So I don't want to say more than that. I hope that's enough information. There's still going to be a lot of fun for you to go have without me spoiling everything. I just want to start by saying that going with Hanaka seems to be what cyberpunk considers your dark ending. Mm, yes, right. Okay, so if you avoid Hanaka and her plan, that leaves us with two other options. Johnny Silverhand and your friends. Now both of those options are fairly similar. Your invasion of Osaka Tower will be different and both of those invasions are fun to play through. But where you end up will be fairly similar but with some important differences. Let's start with the Johnny Silverhand plan. He takes over your body, takes Rogue and a friend to get into the tower. So if we choose to let Johnny go, a very sad aspect of that ending is Rogue is killed. And then a somewhat positive aspect of the invasion is Johnny is in your body and he gets to battle an old enemy from 50 years ago. Now if you choose to accept a friend's help, you're going to lose someone too. I went with Pan Am and we lost Saul. And actually, we also lost a few other people from the Alticados outside in a very cool and what was my favorite invasion of the tower. So when choosing between Johnny Silverhand's plan or letting your friends help you get into the tower and get the relic out, you're going to be making a choice about who you lose. That's going to be the choice that you make with who you bring with you to invade the tower. However, 
the endings have a much more positive vibe. I'm not saying they're positive. They just have a more positive vibe than the terrible Hanaka ending. But for now, we have another very important decision to make, perhaps the most important decision with respect to how your future will play out. So please save the game here. Right before you jack into Makoshi, save your game, you may want to go back to this point. Okay, so when you choose not to go with Hanaka, and you go with one of the other two options, you go into cyberspace, and Alt uses Soul Killer to separate you and Johnny. The problem is, Alt did not realize that you are still going to die anyway. The damage, too much damage has been done to your body and your nervous system. So you, V, are going to die regardless of getting the relic out of your head. So your choice ultimately here is going to be whether to let V live in his own body, but only for about six months because of the damage that has been done, or to let Johnny take over the body completely, and because his construct was causing the damage, if he takes over the body, the body will live on for a natural life. So I'm gonna tell you right up front, I was tempted to let Johnny Silverhand live, but I personally do not love the outcome for that. In the one, Rogue is dead. In the other, Rogue hates him. And he really has nobody, and like typical Johnny Silverhand, he seems very unhappy. And also, kind of importantly, you don't really get to play as him. You don't get to go into Night City as Johnny Silverhand and take on quests or anything. So, this ending didn't thrill me. So we're almost down to what I thought was the best choice. But first we'll look at the option of letting Johnny Silverhand take over V. And then you get to Mikoshi and you choose to let V live. So then you're going to have an ending with whatever friend or relationship you might have been in but it's not super positive. In fact, I was with Pan Am here and we kind of immediately broke up. She wasn't super pissed at me or anything, but she was unhappy. And then I go to a mission which appears to be certain death or I don't know, you'll figure that out for yourself. But that was the option of letting Johnny Silverhand take over V and then choosing to let V live. So that brings us to the final option and the one that I think is the best, which is to let your friends help. So I called Pan Am. That may not be the option you have, but there will be an option to let your friends help invade Osaka Tower, which, by the way, was also, I thought, the most fun invasion of the tower. And then choosing to let V live. And if you make those two choices, it ended up with me leaving with Pan Am and the Aldecados, heading for a place in Arizona, still thinking about trying to cure myself, maybe never going back to Night City or maybe returning someday if I'm able to find a cure. But to me, this ending was the most hopeful and held the most potential to continue playing the game as V. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments about these ending choices, shout them out and maybe we can make something out of it.